There are some fab new season trends that are definitely well worth trying, regardless of your age, and I think you may be surprised by a couple of them. Hi, I'm Leonie, and welcome back to my channel. The thing I love about fashion is that it all comes down to personal preference. At the end of the day, fashion is a way that we can show the world who we are and have a bit of fun while we're doing it. That's why I believe that no one is too old to wear any trend. It's all about attitude at the end of the day. And in case you need a little bit of reminding, today's episode is all about a few of my favorite trends that are going to work for you regardless of your age. I'd also like to say a very big thank you to the team at Skillshare for sponsoring a small portion of today's episode, and I can't wait to tell you about a very cool course I have just taken. Now, the first trend that I want to talk about, and this is a biggie for me, and that is shorts. Now, here are a new pair of shorts that I have just recently grabbed for the new season. Now, sweat shorts are one of the key trends this year. We probably already know that, but the reason that I'm talking about shorts and saying that they are age appropriate, because I have heard so many times from women that they're too old to wear shorts. So much so that I am super keen to get a t-shirt with the words printed on the front, just wear the shorts. Because at the end of the day, I think we spend too much time missing out and being comfortable and wearing practical items of fashion because we put these silly constraints on ourselves. One being that we're too old to wear something. So my first fashion trend, and whether it is these sweat style shorts or any shorts you choose to wear, my message is just wear the shorts. Now this next trend is a goodie and one that I'm a huge fan of and that is leather pants. Now sometimes it's easy to think that we've kind of left our rock and roll days behind us, but that doesn't have to be the case. Leather pants are a really easy basic piece to create all sorts of very interesting outfits from. Of course you can give them that sort of rock and roll vibe if you style them that way, but there are plenty of ways to style new season leather pants. Now I've seen quite a few different silhouettes, everything from leather leggings to more tailored silhouettes. Now, the reason I particularly love my leather pants, they are a stretch leather and they're like a, a fitted legging, but they're not super tight. So they're a perfect base layer for lots and lots of fall winter outfits. And that's the reason I particularly love them. I don't turn them into a kind of a a crazy rock and roll vibe, which is why there are so many ways that you can wear them and enjoy them without feeling like there is an age limit on leather pants. So if you've felt that you're a little bit too old to wear leather pants, I do suggest you think again. A new year is the perfect time to learn a new skill or build a new habit. And if you haven't already, now is a great time to join Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community filled with thousands of inspiring classes, everything from photography to graphic design and even business classes. And this year, my big goal is to start a podcast. So right now, I'm taking the course Podcasting Secrets, How to Start Your Own Podcast by Nikaela Matthews Ocom. I've learned so much from her lessons and it's been the perfect introduction to kind of give me a bit of a basic understanding of how to create my own podcast. One of the great things that I love about Skillshare is that you can start a course and if you're not vibing with the course or the instructor, it doesn't matter. You can find another course on the same subject that will be more suited to your personal taste. There really is something there for everyone. Skillshare also launches new classes all the time, so you're sure to find a new class month after month if you decide to join. If you'd like to try Skillshare, then the first 1,000 subscribers to click the link down below will get a one month free trial of their premium membership. So make sure you check them out in the down bar below and start discovering a new skill or hobby today. When I I was young my mother used to dress me up in all sorts of frilly girly dresses and tops with puffy sleeves and ruffle detail and I remember getting to a point where I felt that I'd sort of outgrown that styling but in the last probably year 18 months that styling has become really on trend and I truly believe that there is no age limit on those sorts of girly feminine pieces. And in fact, some of those details can really play into the whole idea of illusion dressing. And if you don't like exposing your arms, for instance, puffy sleeves are a perfect 
option for you. But I suppose the main thing to remember with anything that's sort of puffy and frilling is that it is going to add extra volume and you need to just make sure that you balance that out so you don't feel swamped. Also with some of these frilly, puffy pieces, it's just about getting used to them. You may have been wearing a little bit more of a fitted silhouette, so turning and changing to wearing something that's a little bit more kind of full and flouncy may just take a, get, a little getting used to, so it's worth thinking about that as well. I don't know about you, but I used to love stomping around in my chunky Doc Martens back in the day. And over the last couple of years, we've seen a real return to a lot of that chunky styling in footwear and boots. And I know that there seems to be this sort of feeling about them being a bit of a younger vibe. And also, I think the thing with fashion is that we tend to believe that if we were around for the first time that something was in fashion, we probably shouldn't be wearing it when it comes back years later. I disagree with that. I think if something is right for you and you love it, it's always going to be right regardless. I know plenty of women who never gave up on their Doc Martens and they still look absolutely amazing. So another trend that if you haven't tried because you think it's too young for you is these chunkier soled boots. They are practical, they're comfortable, there's loads of them to choose from because they're really on trend at the moment. But if for whatever reason you felt that these chunkier boots were more for a bit of a younger audience, then maybe think again. They are surprisingly practical, they're really comfortable, they work well with the, well, I'm thinking about the boots that I own. They go with everything I own in my wardrobe. And for that reason, I definitely think that there's no age limit on these chunky sole boots. Now, the next trend that I think is worth giving a go, and that is sexy-ish cardigans. Now, this one's a little bit of a funny one because we tend to think of cardigans and relate them to an older de demographic in the first place. So I love the fact that cardigans have taken a little bit of a turn and become a little bit more sexy and just a little bit more young and fun. And I suppose that's what I'm trying to say here by mentioning cardigans, that sometimes it's worth revisiting an old classic like a cardi. The younger set may be wearing these with maybe one little button done up and bearing all. That doesn't mean that you have to wear it exactly the same way. These little cardigans make super cool little cover-ups. And I know a lot of women that after a certain age like to cover up their arms. These little cardies make a perfect little cover-up. So I suppose one of the messages that I'm trying to get across with this video is to not limit yourself by immediately saying that you're too old to wear a particular trend or piece of fashion because that is all it is. It's just limiting yourself and not opening yourself up to opportunities of discovering something new that's going to make your wardrobe work harder for you. Now graphic tees and sweatshirts are next up on my list and I know that sometimes these sorts of graphic tees like the one that I'm wearing today can be perceived as being a little bit too young but they're great for not only giving your wardrobe a little bit of an inexpensive modern update, but they also just give a little bit more of a relaxed vibe to some of your more dressed up, conservative, sensible pieces. So it's a really nice sort of high-low mix that just tends to work really well. I love styling my graphic tees with a few of my favorite skirts, and it does just give them a little bit more of a relaxed vibe, especially with my pleated skirts, which are huge this year. The pleated skirts tend to be a little bit sort of uptight and buttoned up, but when you team them with something that's a little bit more youthful, like a graphic tee, it just gives them in my mind, a little bit more balance and just gives them a bit more of a modern edge. Bucket hats are back and in a really big way this year. And yes, you may have seen street style stars wearing them on the sidewalk and looking uber cool, but that doesn't mean that you can't as well. And it doesn't mean that you're too old for this look. After all, a bucket hat is super practical perfect for a bad hair day, it's going to keep the sun out of your face, and it's just a cute little way of adding a bit of colour to an outfit. So bucket hats are big this year, and don't let age stop you from jumping on board the bucket hat trend.
Anyway, that's it from me today. I hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, I'd love you to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more and also check out that link to Skillshare in the description box below. But until next time, it's bye for now.